Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews Now 2, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at is my PC ready for Windows 11? Who knows? Let's find out. Okay, so that time is coming. Uh, yeah, we're getting towards the end of 2021, and Windows 11 is soon going to be upon us. So for those of you that are actually desperately waiting for it and want to know if it will actually work on your PC or not, Microsoft have released a new tool which will allow you to work out if it's going to work for you from a fresh install or from an upgrade, whether you're going to get it for free, all those kinds of things. So we'll be taking a look at that in the video also. Obviously, for those of you that are on Windows 10 and you're quite happy with it, or maybe you're on Windows 8.1 even, or 7, or maybe you're one of those people that has sandals and a beard and possibly is using Linux, or maybe you're one of those uh, trendy types who is using an Apple product. This video probably doesn't relate to you very much, but for those of you interested in Windows 11, let's take a look and see if we can get it on our PCs. So what we're going to do is open up a web browser and go to the site listed here at the top. So it's microsoft.com forward slash your region slash windows slash get windows 11. And you can go over to the check for compatibility. Now, obviously I don't expect you to type all that stuff in. So there will be some handy dandy links in the video description. So you can just go ahead and click on that and download it from there. So let's go through the process. So check for compatibility and we go to the download PC health check app. So we'll click on that one. We'll download it to somewhere easy. So we'll send it to the desktop and then we're at the point where we can close this window and we've got our Windows app there. So we'll double click on it to start it installing and you can go through and see the Windows PC health check setup. So this is actually a new version released a couple of days ago, actually. Well, obviously, depending on when you're watching this, but yeah, a few days ago, the previous one they did was uh, not very good and a bit buggy and kind of threw up all kinds of weird flags. So anyway, regardless, so you have to check this box here. I accept the terms of the license agreement as we do with pretty much anything that comes out of uh, Bill Gates's era and click on install. And then we've got our Windows PC health check is installed. You have the options here for the tick box. You can either open Windows PC health check if you wish. So we obviously do want to see it. So I'm going to leave that open. And also you can have a shortcut on the desktop if you uh, like that kind of thing. It will be a shortcut actually in your start menu and all that kind of stuff anyway. But yeah, It will pop up. So PC health check. This is your PC health at a glance. Gives you information about your PC, the RAM, your hard drives, etc the installation and the date, etc. You can do things like rename your PC. Also, you've got this section here, so introducing Windows 11. So it says there, let's check if this PC meets the system requirements. If it does, you can get the free upgrade when it is available. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You can do other things as well. So you can do backup and sync and all that kind of stuff. And you can check out other items of your PC. But what we're really focused on today is, can we actually use Windows 11? So what we're gonna do is click on check now. And straight away it's gone through and we've got an exclamation mark. So this PC currently does not meet the requirements of Windows 11. So you can click on review to see the information. But essentially, I know what it is already is because TPM 2.0 is not enabled on my motherboard. So it says there TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. Not detected. So yes, it is actually disabled. And if you go in, you can actually see all results. So it tells you the other things. So we've passed on all the other things. So there's no problems with the rest of the specifications. So things you will need, obviously you will need a PC that supports secure boot. You will need a specific processor. You will need at least four gigabytes of system RAM and you will need a system disk of 64 gigabytes or larger. So obviously some of those older systems running Windows 10 with 32 gig SSDs are gonna struggle. And also you have to have a processor that has two or more physical cores. So we've got six in ours, so that's absolutely fine. And they have to be one gigahertz or higher, which hopefully if, uh, if you're watching this, hopefully you've got one gigahertz or faster processor. If not, I do feel sorry for you. So anyway, we've realized now that the PC will not meet the requirements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over into the BIOS now, do a little bit of jiggery pokery in there, enable TPM, and we'll come back and see if then we are able to actually use the Windows 11 when it comes out. Let's do a quick reboot. Okay, so in our BIOS, so this is the MSI setup, so we're gonna actually go into the advanced mode. Actually, you can tell, like, no, we're in advanced mode. We are in advanced mode, so what we're gonna do is go into settings, and then we're gonna go down into security, so nice and easy on this setup. And we've got trusted computing, and we've got the option here for security device support, so we're gonna change to enable, 
and are basically the AMD CPU FTPM. So you've got a choice of enabled or essentially enabled. So that's absolutely fine. So now what we want to do is to come out of there, do save and exit, save changes and reboot. And just for confirmation there, security device support enable is now on. So we can click on yes. We'll do a quick reboot, log back into Windows and we'll run the test again. Okay, so the system's back up and running. We've had a quick reboot and yeah, we'll just wait for things to settle down, etc. And luckily we've got that handy dandy shortcut on our desktop. So we can click on PC health check. Fingers crossed, when we click on this now, it should say that we're all okay. Yay, this PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. So great news, Windows 11 is here. Well, it's not quite, but nearly. Uh, check device management specifications and apps, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's all good. So see system results. Yeah, we've got ticks all the way through. So happy days. So when Windows 11 is out, we will be able to download it. No doubt there will be some uh, pop-up or something that happens in Windows Update where it allows you to upgrade to Windows 11. Who knows? It's early doors at the moment, but certainly we will be finding out, hopefully, within, uh, well, the next month. So yeah, exciting times. We're getting ready for the proper full release of Windows 11, which I'm actually looking forward to getting a full ISO of and doing a fresh install rather than an upgrade, which is what we are kind of essentially on here. This was my old Windows 10 streaming PC, which has then been updated to the beta version of Windows 11. So yeah, it'd be nice to uh, start fresh, get rid of all the uh, crap in the background and do a fresh install and see what it's actually like. Okay, so there you go. There is how to find out if your PC is actually physically able to install Windows 11 on, should it become available in the, uh, the near term. I'm actually pretty excited. It's gonna be really nice to have a new operating system to install from scratch. Obviously, there is going to be one thing. Now, this is a little bit of a plug, but if you do need a license key and you're planning on doing a new bare bones installation of Windows 11 when it comes out, then don't forget premiumcdkeys.com forward slash Mike's Unboxing and you can get your Windows 10. I was going to say Windows 11, but technically you can't. But you can get your Windows 10 keys, which will probably be the same as Windows 11 keys anyway, but you can get those for pretty much under a fiver here in the UK, which is fantastic value for money in my personal opinion. So links for that will also be in the video description below. The, this video isn't sponsored by them in any way, shape or form, but I think it's good to pass on these kind of uh, discounted products to the viewers. So hopefully you've enjoyed this content. If you have, don't forget to smash the like button and also do the other YouTube stuff like subscribe and like and all that kind of stuff and share it with your friends. You never know, they may actually thank you for it one day. But I think it's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in Windows 11. Thanks for watching.